Um, we are looking now for the last nine minutes. We're going to look at trigonometric equations. Um, we've already discussed the sine theta. Tonight I want to talk to you about the cosine of an angle equal to a number k. If we have that the cos of theta is equal to some number k, now you guys must remember that that number k can only lie between 1 and minus 1. So in shorthand, we can say the absolute value of k must be smaller than 1, if you wish to express it like that for the higher grades. Okay, so that just means between 1 and minus 1, this number has a value between 1 and minus 1. And I need to get to the angle as quick as I can. Now remind yourself, the cosine of an angle is positive, Cosine is positive in first and fourth, according to your cost diagram. If the cosine of an angle is negative, we are in the second and in the third quadrant. Just put your mind back to grade 11. Okay, let's look at how this definition works. For me to get to my angle as quick as I can, I'm simply going to say that that theta is plus or minus the cos to the negative one, of the number k and that gets me to an angle. Now for the ad math students you know cos to the minus 1 as arc cos of a number k and then obviously to end this little sentence off I add multiples of my period. Now let's think about why do I have to add those multiples of my period. If you think about the sine curve, the cos curve, and the tan curve, the sine and cos curve repeat themselves every 360 degrees, and the tan curve repeats itself every 180 degrees. Hence, we say that the period for sine and cos is 360, and the period for tan is 180. Now, guys, this is a question that can be answered at grade 10, 11, or 12 level. So I want the grade 10s to listen as well because this is going to make your life much easier. If you put your mind back to grade 12, put your minds back to what you did, used to do at school. Your method was to first find a reference angle. Once you've had the reference angle, you placed it in the quadrant. You placed in the quadrant your angle and then finally you worked out your answer. Now what's beautiful about this method is that if you cosine negative 1 the number that is going to be your reference angle. Not only is it your reference angle guys but it also places this angle in the correct quadrant straight away. You have to do no work. Everything's done for you. All you need to do is play with the period and then you get to the answer. Okay, folks, let's see how that works. My first example I want to talk to is the, let's make it a little bit messy, 5 times the cosine of theta equals 2. Now, remember your definition says you must have the cosine of theta is equal to a number. So we need to get rid of the 5. The only way we can get rid of it is to divide it to the other side. So we're going to say the cosine of my angle theta is 2 over 5. Now I have it in the form cos theta equals k. Now I can go for my definition. Now remember the definition said theta is plus or minus cos to the minus 1 of the number. Now before we do that, let's just see why that is so. If I look at my cost diagram, cosine is positive here and it's negative, a positive down here as well. Sorry, that's what the cost diagram tells you. Now, whether I have a positive 30 degrees here or whether I have this then as minus 30 degrees, you can see, guys, that's the same angle. Hence, the plus or minus 
arc or cos to the minus 1 of whatever the number is. Now I can express this as negative 30 or I can add 360 to that and it would take it to the bigger angle of 330 degrees. The terminal arm is in the same position guys so I can express it as 330 or I can express it as minus 30 degrees. Okay, so let's go for it. Theta is thus plus or minus the cos to the minus 1 of 2 fifths plus multiples of my period. Now, all you need to do is punch this into your calculator. Once you've done that, you'll see that you get 66,4 two degrees plus multiples of 360. There's two answers to cosine uh, if you say cos minus 1, 2 over 5. Now the one answer will be 66 in that direction or minus 66 in the negative direction. The same works if this was a negative number. If I had the cosine of theta is minus 3 over 7, to get to this theta, I simply just say plus or minus the arc cos of minus 3 over 7 for the additional math students or the similar expression here would have been plus or minus cos to the minus 1 of minus 3 over 7. Means the same thing. Okay guys, then plus multiples of your period. Now, if you cos minus 1, that number on your calculator, you're going to get an answer of 115,4 degrees plus multiples of 360. Now, if you interpret that answer, the 115 lies in the second quadrant, the minus 115 lies in the third quadrant. Why? Because cosine is negative in the second and in the third. This method finds you the reference angle, it places it immediately in the quadrant and all you guys have to do is play with the period to get to your final answers. Okay guys, remember that. Please. <laughs>